Hi everyone. Hi Chetan. Welcome uh, to this uh, new series of Alumni of the Week. So welcome Chetan. Quick intro about yourself to let students know. Yeah. Hi Pavisha. Thanks. Thanks for the like introduction. Uh, I'm I'm doing good actually, and uh, I work uh, at Spotdraft as an associate product manager. So yeah, I I I used to work as an engineer before, and then I transitioned into product management. And yeah, right now I've been working as an EPM since uh past uh around six six to seven months. So awesome. Awesome. yeah, that's pretty much a quick introduction about me. Self mentioned as in uh, you transitioned from a uh, technical engineering background to the EPM role, right? Yeah. So, uh, I mean, please walk us uh, through the, the journey. Like, what was that one thing that intrigued you? Okay, let's just get into the APM side firstly to understand yeah. what gave yeah. you that. Yeah. So, like, uh, I was uh, doing the job of a product manager, or or the characteristics of a uh, product manager were there since like while I was in college, or maybe before that as well. So. Okay. Uh, I used to uh, do a lot of uh, problem solving. Like problem solving is something which which was in the core. So while I was in college, like I used to pick up small problems of students that you know uh, this particular group of students is facing this problem. How do we solve it using tech to be specific? Mm -hmm. So uh, that problems I used to pick and I used to conduct user uh, surveys. I used to go to students with you know like printed forms and stuff that can you please fill this. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to come up with a tech solution for this so it will help me understand your problem better and all. And then I used to pick that that problems as uh, college projects. Like in, okay. in college, we used to have various projects uh, for, for certain subjects. So I used to do that. So problem solving was something I was uh, passionate about since, since uh, quite a while. And when I started uh, my journey as a professional developer or as a professional uh, in, in the corporate, I, I had this uh, misconception that, you know, in order to be in a managerial role, you need an mm -hmm. MBA or any sort of uh, commerce or managerial background. But but as soon as I like started working and I saw people in my organization and from other organizations as well, that then I got to know that it is not necessary to have an MBA or a managerial degree. It is good to have, but not a mandate sort of thing. And then... I started talking to uh, product managers to understand that what what the job looks like, what is the day to day role, and what are their activities. And somehow I felt more connected towards it. So so the way I look at it is that product management is is a mix of three things. One is problem solving at the core. Second is the use of uh, tech to solve your problems. Like there are various product managers, but majority of them are technical or software or digital product managers to yeah. call. So yeah, they are definitely leveraging tech to solve any of the user's problem. And the third is understanding of business. Mm. I've been always, uh, you know, intrigued by how businesses function, how how the revenue kick in, and all the aspects of business. So product management is a mix of these three things. And uh, problem solving is something I always love. Tech is something I'm good at. I have good mm. uh, because I worked as a software engineer for two more than two years. Mm. Tech is something I know and I I feel good about it. And business is something which I'm always curious about. So like product management was the best interaction, uh, intersection of all these three things. These things. So I, I like decided to give it a thought and then like I discovered Hello PM. Then I started uh, okay. learning from there and from there the journey. Okay. Okay. So yeah. So moving ahead, uh, as you uh, told about the transition. So while transitioning, uh, like what were the three or the like three or four major hurdles you would say you came across uh, the challenges that i faced to start with was uh first of all understanding what is product management because for engineering like you have a clear definition that you are supposed to code and then like the output will come and you'll create something and like the role is pretty well defined or well yeah. structured but product management is very abstract like you don't have a perfect JD. Like it will it will change based on uh, the requirement of the company or the product that you are working for. So first, first and foremost challenge was understanding that, you know, what exact skills do you need to be a product manager and how and where to acquire it. So then I started like 
searching on the internet and like there are a couple of ways that that you can do it first is that you shadow certain product managers in your organization and mm-hmm. take up some work in your free time from yeah. them and then yeah. you learn it second was cohort based courses there are certain uh, right, right various right. courses available that, you know like theoretically teach you and then you apply that in assignments and do it so that was the first challenge like getting to know product management learning it developing the skills and the second uh, major thing that that major challenge that i believe is that breaking into product because somehow you need to show that you know product management but you don't have a professional experience to justify that so uh, showing that you have the skill like you know doing product case studies doing product tear downs is fine mm. but organizations like what what i saw during my job search was that out of 10 only one or two organizations were there which did not require prior product management experience even from the entry level roles okay. like for an apm problem so they expect you to at least have either product internships experience mm-hmm. or somewhat background in product analyst or somewhat product experience is what they expected mm-hmm. so from and like me who is coming from a completely non product background it is difficult to break into and it is difficult to prove that you know product management okay so that is the second challenge and third challenge was getting an interview call i personally believe that getting an interview call is more difficult than cracking the interview like you'll apply to 100 yeah. of places and then like only you know one or two would even respond Right. i personally believe that if if you get on a call then it is up to you to like you know like it is up to your skills and it is up to your knowledge to crack it but mm-hmm. certain external factors that come into play where where your resume gets trust listed like there are like let's say thousands of applicants and it is it is not uh, that you know uh, difficult for your resume to get lost somewhere in between so yeah that is that is the primary challenges that that i faced but yeah somehow like i iteratively overcome it like i applied to tens of places some of them gave me the feedback that you know you need to make certain changes this and that then i changed it and again like iteratively uh, oh. got into this okay so awesome awesome so um like just to summarize okay so uh, in in um, those three pointers like what would you say like uh these were the challenges one is you mentioned was the interview cracking then yeah so, yeah to start with one one is the first and foremost problem is learning and acquiring the skills from a structured and a what do we call that uh, a word for it a structured and uh, well organized manner okay, okay. that is what the information is catered on the internet right nobody yeah, will definitely. come and give you mm-hmm. this 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 you are a product manager you have to like jump into it but if you find a structured and organized uh, way of learning which interrelates to each other mm-hmm. like previous topic related to the next one and the next one is related to the previous one it would make much more sense practically to understand that so yeah, again to summarize uh, one is acquiring the skills second one is getting an interview call justifying like your experience and you know like getting an interview call without any product experience mm-hmm. that is the second thing and the third thing is like cracking an interview that that i personally did not find much of a challenge i would say that was like 20 30% rest the two would take uh, 70 to like 60% of the challenge part okay okay so great awesome awesome uh, chetan so going ahead so while uh, the whole navigation part, um, like what do you think where Hello PM came into picture and how Hello PM help you as a community or as a the structured court help you out in this the whole navigation of um, you know transitioning into the role of PM from tech role. So like I joined Hello PM uh, in the fifth cohort while Hello PM was like you know very in the in a, in front stages I would say it was still growing and. Uh, the team there was also very small and like they were also figuring out things like so at that time uh, I was looking for a structured program wherein like everything is given at a single place and the mentors would you know guide you through that so I I started looking for that and hello PM like uh, I, I had a call uh, discovery call with Ankit to understand that what value hello PM could add and what is something that I am looking for so uh, we were pretty much aligned on the fact that what they are providing and what I'm looking for is on the similar lines. So I started with the cohort and the one thing that I like 
the most about hello pm is the structured curriculum like they make sure that no stone remains unturned uh regarding the curriculum like each and every aspect is at least taught once like whatever is needed uh for for anyone to become a product manager in a generic form like some companies require you to have you know like growth mindset some companies right. require right. you to have an analytical mindset so all yeah. of these aspects are very well covered in the curriculum and also like there are assignments uh which are very helpful i i found them to be very helpful because whatever you learn would like you know like burn away within a day or two if you don't apply it somewhere so assignments at that time come into picture they they sort of help you apply your knowledge and they also help you like show that you know you know product management and they work as a proof of work uh, for your interviews and stuff and other than that yeah mentors are something which i will cherish for life ankit uh gagan navidya all of them have like helped me in each and every phase of my journey uh, no matter what time it is like i used to ping ankit at 11 pm that day ankit i'm stuck here how how should i proceed further and he he would like immediately jump on a call or help me out through like so this is something which i believe is the highest value that you get have you have gotten mentors you have like you can take guidance from them in any form any any point of life so yeah this is uh, where like hello pm have have helped me so far uh, now like we have a great community we have huge community so that we can get you know referrals we have like started with the job uh, application and all but at that time it was still in the early stages so like in the job search uh, it was something uh, more on my own that, that i did but yeah mm-hmm. like on was there if, after each round i used to call ankit that ankit this happened now next round is this what should i do and he like guided me throughout the process but yeah now like i see the job network is being set up the community is being set up so like the interview part and the interview preparation part is also being taken care of now definitely definitely all right so with this uh, i mean uh, moving forward um, as you suggested like you were looking out for the cohorts or the community to look for and you initially you decided so what were the points that help you out to consider the hello pm community so the thing uh, that that uh, striked out uh, for hello pm was the personalization uh, there are a lot of other uh, cohort based courses and other organizations which are doing the same thing but it is like more sort of you know done for the masses like you don't have that one to one connect with the mentor or you don't have because see, each and each individual is different each individual have different problems in learning right. uh, you won't have the same method of perceiving things but okay. when i talked with the mentors at hello pm I, i they made sure that you know each and every individual's need is being catered for so what we did as was that for each individual a, a different set of road map was prepared based on their interest so for example if i wanted to you know crack a fintech company or i my interest was more towards fintech then my road map or my learning journey was prepared according to to that so like it is very personalized uh, so to say yeah. and yeah i felt that one to one touch with the with the mentors and i i felt that you know like it is it is not that they are just uh, giving out lectures and they are just giving out content and now it's up to you to consume so yeah this is the one thing that that like striked me out uh, in the community part and about about the curriculum as i said earlier it was very structured i did not find i, I looked at the curriculum of various other uh, courses as well but most of them were like pre recorded sessions or like you know they just give out you the content but here it was live lectures and the curriculum was vast uh, covering all the aspects so yeah that's why then after all of that it was like you know like a leap of faith that you have to take uh, given all the like uh, conditions yeah. so yeah that is how i decided all right cool cool and uh, just just uh, going ahead um, uh, what do you think like breaking into pm role uh, like p- people are out there skeptical coming from different backgrounds maybe sales or maybe commerce you know or maybe technical so is it really that hard to break into pm do you need certain things then only you can get into pm or is it like if you do certain things okay you can get into it and then what would be those particular things that you need to develop maybe mindset maybe problem solving by doing these things anyone can get into it so the first question like is it for everyone out there like is it feasible 
to get uh, for them to get into PM? What do you think? Um, what what I like my view on this is that first thing that you need to uh, decide as an individual is that you need to get an answer to the question why product management, because right. I have seen a lot of people you know product management being in the trend being in the bus they decide to become product manager managers mm -hmm. and like mm -hmm. many many and like many aspiring product managers reach out to me and ask me a question that I want to become a product manager how can I become one. The next question that I ask is why, mm -hmm. and like they don't have an answer to that. That I okay. just it is cool so that I want to become product manager, but that's not how it works. Even if you become one, then you won't enjoy it. So like if you are passionate about problem solving, if if you have an answer, very strong and convincing answer to yourself that this mm -hmm. is why I want to do it. So that is the first and foremost thing that you need. What background you come from doesn't really matter. Like. Even if you are from a non-tech, non-engineering, uh, sales, marketing, whatever background, even if you, I have seen people coming from arts, uh, becoming product managers. So like that is not at all a mandate or a prerequisite. All you need is a product mindset mm -hmm. and then uh, eagerness to learn and adapt uh, whatever, you know, is needed uh, for becoming a product manager. So yeah, that is like the primary thing. Again, like I would empathize on the point that first of all, it is necessary to understand that why you want to become a product manager. Once you have that like cleared and sorted, mm -hmm. your background doesn't matter. Yeah, definitely technical background helps you fasten up the process. If if I was not an engineer, for me to understand the, the technical aspects of it would take enough, another six months or a year. Definitely, and yeah effort and time as well but yeah that definitely uh, helps and that definitely adds value mm. uh but yeah it is not necessary that you need it okay all right so as you suggested you you um uh, brought out this point of aspiring product managers so from your end what is uh those two cents like piece of advice that you would like to share for all the aspiring product managers who are you know, looking to get into this or who are, who are into the process of transitioning into a PM, what, what will be your two cents or piece of advice adding to it? Yeah. So like the, the end goal always is to get a PM job, right? To get in product manager or an APM and for the entry levels, it is an APM job. The way I look at it is that think as a bring in your product manager, manager hat here. So for example, you are the product and the interviewer or the company is your customer. How would you make sure that your product is adopted there? So you have to understand their needs. For example, every role or every job is different. If you are targeting or if you are looking for a particular job, then like read through the company, read through the proof, like, you know, the, the existing product managers, like what sort of work they do, what sort of skills they have. Mm. And based on that, you customize or, you know, like tailor your resumes, tailor yourself or the way you like uh, present yourself to them uh, really matters. And uh, the second and most important thing is proof of work. You know, product management, you have acquired skills, but so right. yeah, that is like primary skills. First acquire the skills, first understand what is product management, then slowly start building it out. For example, if you learned about analytics today, then create one dashboard and amplitude for analytics. If you learned, uh, let's say, uh, growth related to growth or growth cycles today, uh, look up to the existing growth cycles, how they have worked and what you could have done better. If you yeah. are doing an RC or root cause analysis or you learned about it today, then like do a RC of one of the famous problems. Everything is readily available on the internet. You just have to be at it. So like focus on practicality or practical aspects more than the theory. Like theory is 20-30% of things. Focus more on building out things, proof of work and try to connect with more and more people. That's how like you like, again, there is no clear pathway to it. Definitely. But this yeah. is the that would definitely help and it again depends on the role. Like what role you are looking for each and every role has this own sort of requirement. So yeah, that is the piece of advice I, I would like to give. Alright. Okay, so within the term, term of like three months, is it a feasible time? Is it is it like too long to be you know uh, transitioning into PM role, or is just just right uh, uh, time 
that our cohort goes on for. Yeah, I I personally feel that it was uh, pretty much the necessary thing because uh, in a in a month or so, like see, as you are working, you don't get time on weekdays. Hardly you get time on weekdays, and even if you get, you cannot focus as much as you can on weekends. So yeah. in a month, if you count the weekends, there are like eight days, and you just get eight days in a month to you know spend some time on something other than what you are doing every day. Yeah. So a month is again like very short, and if we like extend it to six months, then you will forget what you learned in the first month. Right. right. So I think the period between two to three, two to four months, let's say, is is ideal to at least understand the aspects of it, and like uh, some people would you know break into it in the period itself, and some might take uh, you know even after the cohort gets completed, some people might take month or two or let's say six months to break into it, but. Yeah, I think it is an ideal time. Two to four months is enough for you to learn all the aspects of it. And if you like give it more time during that, you will definitely break into it by the time the cohort gets completed. So right. I think, yeah, that the, the time duration is for me, it was uh, very suitable. But again, it depends on the individual, how they are, their pace towards learning is some might do it in two months, some might take four. But the ideal duration is like somewhat between two to four months. Awesome, awesome, cool. I mean, uh, this this uh, answers mostly all the queries, and I I, I believe it will be helpful for other students in the cohort to you know answer their queries as well. So uh, we are moving towards the end of this discussion. So I would like to thank you, uh, Chetan, to come on uh, this platform and then you know sh sharing your experience and your insights, valuable insights, and how you transitioned into role. Thank you for like inviting me here. Uh, I hope that. Some of my little knowledge will help a lot of others. And I'm always there. Like anyone can reach out to me on my LinkedIn for any related, any help related to product management. I'll be more than happy to, you know, give whatever little advice that I have. Yeah. And yeah, that's, that's it, I think. Definitely. That's, that's a great thing to uh, come from your, coming from your end. And uh, definitely. Uh, yeah. Thank you uh, for being there on the show. Thank you.